Well, here we are on the uh, last of uh, these tremendous two weekends where we've seen we interrupt this program. And what a tremendous blessing it has been. A lot of hard work has gone into this and we can see it in the production. We are so happy uh, that we are here and we're happy that we've been allowed uh, to be a part of this great experience. Uh, we interrupt this program. What an incredible evangelistic effort uh, by the writer, Reverend Sheila Hargrave, and by all of the actresses and actors who have participated. I stand here um, proudly with uh, Pastor Doug Carpenter, uh, Reverend uh, Pastor, Co-Pastor Carpenter, and First Lady Avenger. Uh, we're here enjoying this matinee program and we're just we're just so happy for the support uh, that we have gotten in this process i'm going to turn this mic over to sister average and she's going to pass it down the line so that we may get some comments from these most important people standing here <laughs> uh, we're so thrilled to be here as we said with pastor and co-pastor carpenter and they are a sister church and friends of ours for many many years and uh, as we mentioned previously, that the Hargraves have grown in their ministry over the years, and now we see the fruits of their labor uh, in we interrupt this program. Generational curses are real, and we are elated on how they have been able to uh, express the Word of God through this play, and we thank them so much for writing it, and we thank the Carpenters for bringing Philadelphia Prayer, Praise, and Worship Ministry along with them. Thank you. Just like to say that we are so excited and we're just happy to be here and we're just glad that uh, we have been asked to be a part and to bring people to enjoy this moment. This is absolutely wonderful. And we want to say to the Hargraves, that this is just an awesome outreach um, ministry, and we pray God's best to you. We come just to thank and praise God for this play, this evangelistic effort, and we're so glad that our friends, Bishop-elect Reverend Dr. Stephen Averger and his wife invited us to join them in this effort. An awesome play, an awesome evangelistic effort, and we praise God for being here with you all on today. Amen. Now he wants to be a part of David and Junior's lives. Junior, oh my lord, I done forgot about little Junior. I bet you he's such a handsome young man. The play was wonderful. The actors and actresses did a great and fantabulous job. <laughs> the part when the father and the sons came together and they all were in a, a land of forgiveness, that was the most wonderful part for me. It was a wonderful play and um, the fact that, like she said, they came in forgiveness of one another, that was powerful. That was the grace of God. Amen. Um, I think it's wonderful, man. It's a wonderful production, great cast. It's a wonderful atmosphere. So I'm glad I came out to enjoy myself. I think it's a real life situation. So the church taking a chance on Given real life scenarios of people what we go through right now in our uh, in our communities, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful situation. Kudos to the cast, kudos to the production. I think it was a great time.
I really think that the play was very interesting for young and old and very informative and that you know we all can learn a lot from it and that you know this just this just just doesn't happen in the street that this also happens inside the church too you know after we leave service and we got to see the real world of what really is going on today I like to thank the cast for their awesome commitment for the past six, I don't know, maybe even eight months. I thank them for just doing an awesome job. And that's why you see them with these Oscars on today. I wish we could give them a real Oscar um, because it was a lot of script. It was a real challenge for them. and. They stood up to the challenge and they came with their A game and for that very reason, I love and appreciate them all. Wow.